Hi, now we are going to see how to create a database table. So the transaction code for creating a database table is SE11. So it is the initial screen of a BAB dictionary where you can view the standard tables as well as you can create your own Z tables. So I'll go ahead and create my own table. So I'm going to create a table which should have a name, age. So these are the two fields with which I'm going to create a Z table. So I'm going ahead and giving a name for my table like demo underscore 12. Clicking on create button. So here is where I uh, give my short description is so it's a demo for DB creation. And go here. This is the for help available. Just click on this and select application table master and transaction data and since it is your own table and you are not using any standard fields you can give the option as display maintenance allowed and click on the save button and now you can create your own package and save your program inside it or you can save it in the local package so after this go to the fields tab and here is very important uh, things to understand like in every database table you have a field called mandate which represents the client m-a-n-d-t so when you check these two boxes it means that it is a key field and click on enter see automatically the client and the length and everything is populated and here is where you have to keep a key field for your own table and which also has to be checked so every database field that you create should have a name a data element and a data domain so i'll go ahead and i'll show you what a data element and a data domain is so i'm going to create a data element basically for the name and i'm going to double click that so it is asking me to save it yeah so now it is asking me to create a data element just create it give the short description as de for name now just copy down this particular data element name and paste it in the domain and go ahead here and whatever you give here is exactly what it is going to going to be in the output field so go to the data types double click this domain because you have to create a domain obviously yeah create a domain so give a short description like devo for our name and here is where you give the uh, type of the data like name is always a character type so I am giving the length of the name as 30 so save and activate don't check it just activate it while activating just select the data element also and now get back this is reflected in the data element see the character and the length which you have given in the data domain level is being reflected in the data element now go back one step and you'll get that thing reflected in the table also so now go with age which is a non key field it's a normal field so age i'll create 122 and similarly you have to create a data element and domain for this particular field also so uh, it's de for age just copy down this and paste it over here and go to the field label it is where uh, you're going to give your field label and now go back here double click your data domain save it in the local objects click on s and here it's a demo for h and this is what type of data it is it should be of numeric or a character so i'll go with character and i'll give a maximum three the length so now activate while activating activate the data element which you have already created now get back see your data element is being reflected here once you get back again it is once again reflected over here so now save it and go with the technical settings the next thing after creating a database is go with the technical settings so select option one and the size because since we are in the demo purpose we are going with the first option and save go back S 
so after giving the technical settings just go here click on extras click on enhancement category click can be enhanced character or numeric because we have already used those things now save check for and activate now go to utilities you are going to add entries for your table create entries so this is how it looks like so I am going ahead and adding my name like 27 just click on save and once again resetting it so yeah, and uh, page is 24 and I am giving a save so when I get back when I go here for the contents and click on the number of entries it says 2 because my record has 2 entries if I click on execute I could see the 2 records has been updated in the database thank you for watching the database creation